Good morning, dear students. Today, we are going to begin with the third lesson from our mathematics textbook, that is HCF and LCM. So, this lesson you are going to include in your algebra section. Now, on the screen you are able to see list of numbers from 1 to 50. Isn't it? Using this number, we are going to recall some types of numbers or different types of numbers. So, let's start. So, in the earlier classes, we have learned about even numbers and odd numbers. So, what are even numbers? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. If such numbers you see at units place, then that all numbers are called as even numbers. So, see, you should have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 at units place. Then such numbers are called as even numbers. Now, what are odd numbers? The numbers which have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 at units place, then that numbers are called as odd numbers. So, now, let us circle the unit numbers or even numbers in this list. Okay. So, see here. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. All these circle numbers are called as even numbers. And the numbers which I have not circled are called odd numbers. Did you understand? So now, let us recall some other types of numbers. They are natural numbers. So what are natural numbers? The numbers which starts from 1 are called as natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Yes? And what are whole numbers? The numbers which starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, infinity are called natural whole numbers. Okay? So, did you understand what are natural numbers and what are whole numbers? So, now the circle numbers in this list are even numbers and the numbers which are not circled are odd numbers. Now let us So students, one more thing what we have to learn or recall about even numbers that is if you will see the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, they all come in two stable, isn't it? So whichever numbers I have circled in this list they are even numbers and all these numbers come in two stable. Okay. Now let us learn another type of number that is prime numbers which will help us in this lesson. So students, let us now study about prime numbers. So first I will tell you what are prime numbers. The numbers which are divisible by one's table and its own table, then that numbers are called as prime numbers. Okay. So, prime numbers are numbers which have two factors. They are one and the number itself. Okay. So, see on the screen, we have circled the numbers. All these circled numbers are even numbers. Isn't it? So, they all are coming in two stable. We have studied about it. Yes or no? So, all these even numbers are not prime numbers. Only one even number is prime number. That is 2. Which is the even prime number? 2. Because factors of 2 are 1 and 2. 
only two factors 2 is having. It comes in ones table and it comes in its own table and no other table. So 2 is only one even number which is prime. Okay. So 2 is even prime number. No other prime number even number is prime. Okay. No other even number is prime. Only 2 is the smallest even prime number. Now, we have understood that 2 is prime number. Yes or no? So, I will just put a box for it or we will tick mark it. Okay, we will tick mark. So, we, are, we got the first prime number according to our previous knowledge that is 2. So, I will tick mark that too. Now, let us study other prime numbers. So, other circle numbers are surely they are not prime because they come in two stable. And what are prime numbers? They should come in one stable and their own table. They should not come in any other table. So, this circle one others are not prime numbers. Now, we will check one. So, students always remember... 1 is neither prime nor composite. Okay. So, always keep in mind 1 is neither prime nor composite. Then what is mean by composite numbers? The numbers which are not prime are called as composite numbers. Okay, so first I will show you which are prime numbers and then remaining numbers will be composite numbers. So in short, composite numbers have many factors. Okay, so now we have studied about 1. 1 is neither prime nor composite. So we will put it in box. Okay, 1 is neither prime nor composite. 2 is prime. We will check 3. Now 3 comes in which tables? Yes, we have only two factors of 3. Yes or no? 3 comes in one table and its own table. So, 3 is a prime number. Okay? So, second prime number what we got in the list is 3. Everybody understood here? So, like this if we will go on searching, we will get the prime number. So, 3 is a prime number. 4 we have already studied. It is not a prime number. Now, 5. 5 is a prime number because it comes in one table and its own table. So, 5. 7 is also prime number. Now, 9 we will take here and we will check whether 9 is prime number or not. Okay. So, I will take 9 here. So, here I am writing 9. Factors of 9. 1. It don't come in 2 stable. It comes in 3 stable and directly... 9 stable. Yes or no? So, we are having one factor extra that is 3. So, 9 is not a prime number. Then which number it is? It is a composite number. Did you understand? Yes. So, afterwards we have 10. So, next prime number is 11 because 11 comes in one stable and its own table. Yes or no? So, 11 is also one of the prime number. Now, 13. 13 is also prime number. Now, we will check 15. Huh? And here you will understand. See now, 15. 15 comes in. Its factors are 1. No, it don't come in 2 stable. 3 stable it is there. It doesn't come in 4 stable. It is present in 5 stable. And it, it, it comes in its own table that is 15. So, if you will see we are getting many factors of 15. Yes or no? Thus, 15 is not a prime number. It is a composite number. Then we will move on to other numbers that is if you will see 17. Then 17 is a prime number. Yes. Next which number? Correct. 19. Yeah. So, just see here on the board or on the screen. We are going to mark 
15 as a composite. So no need to tick mark. We will tick mark the next number that is 17. 17 is a prime number. 19 is also prime number. So children here we have got the prime numbers. And so other prime numbers from this list are 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43 and 47. Okay. So all these numbers which are tick marked in red color, they are called as prime numbers because they have only two factors that is 1 and, it, and that number itself. Okay. And the remaining numbers are called as composite numbers and 1 is neither prime nor composite and 2 is an even prime number. So here from 1 to 50 we are having total 15 prime numbers. Now I will give you the list of prime numbers from 1 to 100. So here is the list of prime numbers from 1 to 50 and 51 to 100. So if you will see the list then 1 to 50 we are having 15 prime numbers and 51 to 100 we have 10 prime numbers. So total from 1 to 100 we are having 25 prime numbers. So this all whatever I have written here 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97. This all are prime numbers from 1 to 100. So now... Uh, write down lesson number 2 HCF and LCM in algebra section of your CW and these are the notes about the definition of prime numbers. Here I have given you examples of prime numbers from 1 to 100 and we have all, all just now learned that 1 is neither prime number nor composite number and 2 is the only even prime number. So write down these notes in neat handwriting in your CW.